Hello everyone, this is Thomas from Zaxcom, here to teach you how to update your Nomad Mixer Recorder. Before we begin, I want to reassure anyone that might be nervous about updating their machine that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. It is almost impossible to brick this machine. This is because the Nomad has a special boot up sequence called a bootloader. The software is installed into ROM and is responsible for loading the Nomad software that boots up on your device. The bootloader is important because it ensures that even if your device loses power during an installation, the machine can still boot up. For whatever reason the installation fails while updating your machine, all you have to do is try reinstalling again and you'll be back up and running in no time. In order to update the Nomad to the most current software, we're going to need to know what software is already on our device. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and turn on our Nomad. The first thing that comes up on the screen is the bootloader program. Now I have frozen the screen here so I can show you that the first line of text that shows up on your device is the version of your bootloader. If we continue on, the very next screen will tell you what kind of Nomad you're currently using, be it a 4, 6, 8, or 12, as well as the software version. Now that we know that information, go ahead and make a mental note of it, just to make sure that we don't download the exact same software that's already on your device. The very first step in updating your machine is to prepare a compact flash card for the installation file. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and insert a compact flash card into your Nomad in the mirror slot. Once installed, on the home screen, press the menu button to enter the main menu. Scroll down to My Nomad, and then again to Mirror CF. Inside of the Mirror CF screen, scroll down to Format Mirror Card. Once on the Erase Mirror screen, press the Star key to format the Mirror Card. You will notice that the Nomad says Formatting Card and then will mount the volume. Once this is finished, go ahead and turn off your device and eject the card. This card is now ready to be mounted to your computer in order to copy the installation file to the card. Once the compact flash card is mounted onto your computer, open up the Diva drive that pops up and just ensure that it's empty. From here, using your internet browser, go to Zaxcom's website. Move your mouse over the support link and go down to Software Updates. This page will show you all of the software that has been approved and field ready. Locate the Nomad software and click to download. Once downloaded, unzip the file. Inside of this zip file, there's going to be three files, an installation instructions, release notes, and a Nomad prog file. The Nomad prog file is the file that is going to be used to update your Nomad. Go ahead and copy that file to your compact flash card. Once the file is copied to your compact flash card, let's open up the installation instructions text just to make sure there isn't any extra information that we need to know about. Inside of the installation instructions, it's going to give you instructions on how to install the Nomad firmware into your device. However, it may also give you some extra information about this update. For example, in this version, it's recommending that the current bootloader version is 12. If you had anything less than 12 when we booted up your machine, we're going to need to update your bootloader before we can continue. Eject the compact flash card from your computer and then mount it inside of the mirror slot of your Nomad. Once installed, go ahead and turn on your Nomad.
Once fully booted up, press the Menu button. Scroll down to ENG Setup. Then, scroll all the way down to the Advanced Features menu. Inside of the Advanced Setup menu, select Burn Boot Loader. Now because my Nomad is up to date with version 12, I do not need to do this step. However, if you have version 11 or below on your Nomad, press the star key 10 times to burn the bootloader program into ROM. If you did have to update your bootloader firmware, go ahead and restart your Nomad after it is finished. Now that everyone is on the same page with bootloader version 12, it's now time to update the Nomad software. Go ahead and turn off your Nomad. With the Nomad off, hold in the star key and turn the Nomad back on. Holding down the star key while turning on the Nomad will inform the bootloader to search the compact flashcard for a newer version of software. If it finds one, it will automatically start to install that software. Once you notice it installing, you can let go of the star key. When finished, the Nomad will inform you to cycle the power. After cycling the power, you will notice that the bootloader as well as the software version have been updated to show you the most current software installed. Congratulations! You have just officially updated your Nomad to the most current software. Now the only other thing that I can recommend is to recall your factory defaults. This will set your Nomad up just like it came from the factory. Once you've done this, you're going to have the ability to set your machine up just like you had it before or recall your settings from a compact flashcard. To do this, from the main screen, press the menu button. Scroll down to Memory Store Recall. In the Memory screen, scroll down to Recall Factory Defaults. Once inside, press the star key to restore your factory defaults. When it's finished, the screen will say default settings have now been restored. Restart your Nomad now. Once restarted, you will have the ability to set your Nomad up just like you had it before. Depending on the Nomad that you have purchased, you may have the IFB features installed in your Nomad. If this is the case, there is one more thing that you're going to need to update in order to make sure that your Nomad is working properly. To do so, press the Menu button. From the main menu, scroll down to Zach's Net Setup. Inside the Zaxnet Setup menu, scroll down to Burn Zaxnet Firmware. In order to burn the Zaxnet software, you're going to need to set the IFB mode to Transmit and set the input config to 8 or 12. To do so, press the Back button on the Nomad. Scroll up to the top of the menu. Under Input Configure, change your input type to 8. Then, press the Back key. Scroll up to IFB mode and set this to Transmit. Now you can scroll down to Burn Zaxnet Firmware. Now the Burn Zaxnet software page will tell you what version you are currently running as well as to press star to update your Zaxnet software. If needed, press the star key now to update your Zaxnet software. When it is done updating, restart your Nomad. Congratulations! You have now officially updated your Zaxnet software. Your machine should be back up and running with the newest software available.